Oh, we finally have news on the post Festival in Legends patch, the kind of big expected patch coming about two weeks after the expansion. And wow, there are a lot of buffs and uh, an entire change for Death Knight. Okay, we won't know all of the details until Thursday, but let's take a look at this image and talk about some of these cards that are changing. And okay, we have a lot of warrior cards getting buffed here, which makes sense. But we have Rockmaster Voon gonna change. Two of the three riffs, we have the verse riff and the bridge riff are both going to change. Power Slider going to be changing, Frightened Flunky, Shield Block, and Thorai Belor. Now, these to me seem very, very interesting. Two of the three riffs changing is also interesting. Probably not really um, something that people are surprised by that these are getting buffed. They are really cool. They have a lot of potential, but just not quite at a power level that's allowing them to actually see much play. Uh, power Slider, honestly, to me, I think is the most interesting one, and maybe Thorai Balor, but I think both of those already felt kind of good, so for those to be getting a buff, I think seems pretty in interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if those, just the mana, will change, that's kind of what I'm expecting, but maybe they get a stat buff, uh, but I would expect those probably will have the mana change. And Frightened Flunky, Shield Block, maybe those are just really trying to lean into a little bit more of like uh, taunt and more control type warriors getting a little bit stronger. So interested to see what happens with those. For Mage, they're changing four cards here. Spite Lash Siren, Infinitize the Magnitude, Arcane Artificer, and Audio Bots. Uh, this is also very interesting to me. I feel like Audiobot has been decent, so for that to also be getting a buff, kind of interesting. Uh, I'm also curious to see if they like revert the nerf for Spite Lash Siren or what, what they're doing there, but uh, very, very interesting. Infinite Eyes, the magnitude, also kind of intriguing because this is a, the new legendary, and I don't know how they could really change that. <laughs> Uh, maybe not make the effects of Finale, but I don't think they want to do that. So to me, the only thing that really makes sense would be changing the mana cost of that from two down to one, which definitely seems like that would be very, very powerful. So if that goes to one, I definitely think that more people will be trying that out. Now for Hunter, Stranglethorn Heart, and Halderon Brightwing, both getting changed now, Stranglethorn Hearts, how could they do this? Maybe they could revive only things that cost a certain amount. Maybe they just change the mana cost on it, though. I don't know if it will be really great if they bump it to nine mana. Maybe they have to put it all the way to eight mana for it to really be good, but maybe just bumping it to nine mana could be solid enough. Um, but definitely really kind of interested on that one specifically because it's a really cool card and I think it's a really awesome mechanic. For Shaman, they're changing four cards. Jazz Bass, The Weapon, Altered Chord, Lightning Storm, and Flow Rider. Now, these also kind of interesting to get be getting a buff. Jazz Bass uh, might be going to a 3-2 weapon instead of a 2-2. That's kind of the... Uh, change, I guess, that makes sense to me uh, that would make the most difference. I don't think they'd really go down a mana, but maybe they do. Just decreasing that a mana or increasing it by one attack, I think, are the most likely. Altered Chord, probably got to change the mana unless you bump up the amount of damage and potential lifesteal that that does. Uh, but I feel like that would probably just go down one mana. Lightning Storm, another kind of core card, is very interesting to see buffing the these. Uh, but Lightning Storm maybe just goes down one mana, would be my guess, in unless they really want to make that deal four damage to everything. But I would imagine that that one just goes down in cost. And Flow Rider is also kind of interesting. This is another like brand new card, but they really kind of have to do a combination of these cards, I think, for more... Uh, overload shamans to kind of come into the meta 
But Flow Rider, I could see them going down mana, but honestly, this might just be like a small change where maybe they just put it to a 3 3 body. Then for Warlock, we have Crescendo, Crazed Conductor, and Siphon Soul. Now, these honestly probably all just go down one mana, I, I would imagine. Um, maybe Siphon Soul gives you more healing. But I would imagine these probably just uh, change with the mana cost. For Rogue, Record Scratcher and MC Blingtron. Uh, again, these might just go down in their mana cost. The Record Scratcher might also be very similar to the Jazz Base, where I think maybe they could just make it an additional attack and that that would be pretty solid as well. I do think there is some potential for like a, another kind of weapon rogue an aggressive weapon style rogue and record scratcher could definitely be a part of that. Um, MC Blinktron also very interesting. It's a legendary. Uh, I know a lot of people were thinking that this could be sweet. I just did not see it and it is getting buffed. So maybe after a buff, it will be a little bit more something or create kind of a different play style for Rogue. But eh, okay, <laughs> you know, it's it's not, I don't think still going to quite be at the same level as some of the other Rogue stuff that we already have. For Priest, they are buffing Holy Nova, which uh, seems pretty great. I think that just a uh, more early board removal seems good. Kind of help uh, some of these, maybe like the Shaman, uh, Priest, maybe a little bit with Warrior, depending on how some of those other cards pan out. Um, kind of bring those up a little bit to just kind of deal with some of the early wide boards. So Holy Nova might actually be one that they increase the damage on and not decrease the cost. I definitely could see that being a thing, but maybe they do just decrease the mana. But with that one, I would suspect that they increase the amount of damage that it does. And then for Druid, Kiri Chosen of Illune is getting a buff and the Death Blossom Whomper. I love that card. It's great. It's such a cool mechanic. This one as well, probably just decrease the mana on these as well. I would imagine makes some most sense, really. Just I don't know how else they could change these other than the mana cost. Uh, and especially with something like a Death Rattle minion, you probably don't want to buff it by giving it more health. So you could do that, I guess. But you don't really want to put tons of health on things that you want to have a death rattle effect necessarily. So I, I would imagine those just decrease in cost. And then there are four nerfs. Now, Rowdy fan being the first one. Absolutely. I said this in some of my reviews that this card seemed absolutely powerful and it being five health, incredibly, incredibly good. I imagine that this will go to a 1-4 instead of a 1-5. That's, to me, what makes the most sense. I don't know if they want to bump this up to 4 mana. Maybe that's what they do. But I could see them just trying to make this a little bit weaker of a body on its own. A little bit easier for, uh, like, opponents to clear off. So, we'll see. Uh, Overseer of Frigidera also getting a nerf, um, but this ties to the last part, which is Death Knight, just as a whole. And I do have uh, an image here. This is Deck Tech or Nicholas Weiss. Uh, he is an associate writer for Blizzard uh, for Hearthstone. And uh, he mentioned on Twitter that the Death Knight symbol is because there's a general rules and system change coming for Death Knight that will generally make it weaker and curb some negative play experiences. Details on Thursday. Wow. Okay, so they are making an entire change. Now, this is very, very interesting, I feel like, because Death Knight came out in December it wasn't very strong when it first came out. They really had to buff it. Then now we've had a rotation and Death Knight, multiple Death Knight decks have been at the top of like ladder, the top of play rates, the top of win rates uh, for the last several weeks now. And 
it is just very, very powerful. I think especially in this four set meta, they had to kind of buff some stuff to kind of get Death Knight, you know, to have a better play rate and win rates at the end of the year. And a lot of that, I think, also had to do with them being in a six set meta. There weren't maybe necessarily as many cards. So the cards that they did have really needed to be good uh, to compete with everything else that was in the meta. But now we've had this rotation. We're in the four set meta and we have all of these previously buffed Death Knight cards that are now just like terrorizing the meta and are very, very strong. So I'm very curious to see what this like general rules or system change for Death Knight is. The kind of two that I can envision are potentially something with the corpse mechanic, either making it a little bit harder to generate corpses or just a slight change to how the corpses work. But the other one that seems maybe more likely, I don't, I'm not sure if it's more likely, but the other change that kind of comes to mind is the discover pool. Now they have death knight uh, with this rule of you can only play like a certain number of runes in your deck, right? You, you kind of have to build your deck in a certain way, whether it's cards that have three frost runes and then less that fit in, for example, or if you mix it up, two frost runes and one blood rune, uh, they could do a change to the way that Discover works for Death Knights, where it has to maybe those cards are only going to match what you have in your deck, or uh, it would only be a certain pool of cards potentially that are even discoverable. uh, Because right now it's kind of just a, you can play let's say an all frost death knights deck and then you can discover on holy cards you can discover uh blood cards even if they have three runes required for a different rune type so that seems like something that they definitely could change for me it hasn't made complete sense that you have this deck building restriction but then you can just put a bunch of like discover stuff in and basically play whatever death knight cards you want now The caveat with that is if they do make a change like that, especially at a time like right now, again, we're in a four set meta. There are a lot less cards in the pool to discover. So some of the decks will be very powerful, uh, potentially, if you limit what can or cannot be discovered. So it's going to be very interesting to see what that change, but can't wait to see what that actually is going to be on Thursday. But I don't know. What do you think? What do you think of these changes? Are you excited for some of these cards? Hope that maybe some of these cards or classes uh, become a little bit more playable and prevalent. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking this out and I'll see you in the next one. Test, test, test. Okay. Peter Piper picked a peckle, blah, 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 blah.